Hello everybody, SuperM84 here, and welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the Nintendo GameCube. In the last episode, we fought Dr. Eggman, and we did Prison Lane and Metal Harbor with Tails and Sonic. Phew. So far, so good. Hey, that's... That blue hedgehog again, of all places. I found you, Faker. Faker? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Huh. You're not even good enough to be I'll my I'll make you eat those words! There's no time to play games. You won't even get the chance. So here's our third boss fight, Shadow. When you hit Shadow the first time, he says, I'm the coolest, which is really odd for him to say. Now this boss fight, all you have to do is either you can homing attack or do a somersault to hurt him. But you want to be careful not to attack him and be standing on a rail or close to a ledge, because you will fall and die. And we did it in 19 seconds. Shadow, what are you doing? Hurry and get back here right now before the island blows up with you on it! Blows up! Alright, stage 5, Green Forest. This game from the island in 8 minutes. So, Dr. Eggman has bombs planted all around the island, and we have to get out of here before it blows up. When it comes to point bonuses, there's so much you can earn when you're using the speed characters, like light speed dash, grinding, multiple homing attacks on enemies, and even when you perform tricks after you, when you grind on the rails. One thing I don't like about this stage is that sometimes the guard robots are too far away from each other, which sometimes can be difficult to do a homing attack on them. Yeah, like right there. This is also where we get Sonic's second power-up. So this is where Sonic's second power-up is. Now, you have to wait until the Beetlebot is close to you so you can do a homing attack on it. Okay, the Ancient Light. Light attack to defeat multiple enemies at light speed. Press B button to charge up, then release to destroy nearby enemies. Now, this power-up is the same that was in Sonic Adventure 1, where if you rev up Sonic's spin dash, and when it's fully charged, he will perform the light attack. And when you use it, it makes Sonic look like he's going berserk, attacking the enemies by going in circles. I don't really use the Ancient Light because it wastes time. You know, and watching Sonic going in circles like crazy is a waste of time. So I want to talk about more of Sonic's Soap Shoes. So back in 2001, Sega made a partnership with Soap Shoes to promote Sonic Adventure 2. According to the developers, they said it was a way to help explain the grinding mechanic, and Soap Shoes had a plastic concavity in the sole which allowed the wearer to grind on objects such as rails and pipes. And Sonic is wearing Soap Shoes. But this promotion wouldn't last long because Soap would go bankrupt later that year when the creator Chris Morris lost control of the shoes license because of legal problems, and then sold it to another company that would go bankrupt a year later, causing the company to shut down permanently. You know, it's disappointing that Soap never made an actual version of Sonic's soap shoes because I actually love the design of the shoes and it looks like Sonic is wearing actual sneakers. But you know, if Soap did make his shoes and sell them, oh man, every Sonic fan will want to get their hands on them, including myself, even if it costs almost a hundred dollars. But it's surprising that Sega and Sonic Team were still able to use Sonic's soap shoes and Sonic X and Sonic Forces after the manufacturer discontinued. And there we go. We did it in 2 minutes and 58 seconds and collected 187 rings. 
Hey! And we get our fifth emblem. I'm just gonna assume everyone made it out alive from that explosion. I'm Knuckles, the kid. Just call me Knuckles. Following a faint signal I was getting from the Master Emerald, I found myself in this world canyon. Sure feels creepy. But I'm not afraid of ghosts. I have to find the pieces of the Master Emerald now. Okay, stage six, Pumpkin Hill. Find the three pieces of the Master Emerald. This place sure feels haunted. There's no time to lose. I have to hurry and find the Master Emerald. So this is where we get Knuckles' first power-up. The Shovel Claws. You can dig into the ground or walls. Select Dig in the action window or simply press B button when you're in the air or on a wall. So throughout the whole treasure hunting stages, there are these floating computer monitors and if you go up to it and press the B button, they'll give you a hint on where the air mode is located. So it's basically the replacement of the call, but instead it doesn't take you where the air mode is. And you know, I didn't know that if you ask for hints, your score will be small. Yeah, I didn't know that. Anyway, I'm not going to be using the monitors in this stage because I've played this game so many times. And if you've played the treasure hunting stages many times, then you should already have an experience. I'm using the radar to look for the air molds, and I think it's better that way instead of using the monitors. Um, if you want to get an A rank in these treasure hunting stages, then you have to find all the air molds. I think about two minutes or less. If you take too long finding them, then you're not going to get a good rank at all. Okay. Sometimes the monitors can be confusing at times. Like they'll say it's in the grave, or it's in the cemetery, or it's in on top of the mountains, or on top or buried in one of the pumpkin pillars. Okay, the last emerald's gotta be here somewhere. Ow! It's in here? No, it's not there. Okay, no, it's not there. Come on. Okay, there we go. We did it in two minutes and eight seconds. Hey! Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like or a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.